I'm MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hot entertainment news, mga local man o international. Gucci, Gucci, yes, we are. Awesome. Yes, this is the countdown you shouldn't miss. The new normal you can't resist. Come on, let's start with today's number 10. Don't worry guys, kasi kung hindi natuloy yung kay Margot Robbie na Pirates female-led series ng Disney, yung Princess Diary 3 naman ay in the works. Awesome. The Princess of Genovia is returning. And according to the Hollywood Reporter, the hit film will be back starring Anne Hathaway. This is... Awesome! And of course, it will be another installment rather than a reboot. And well, I would uh, agree to that one because honestly, reboot oftentimes ruins things for the original. Anyway, released in 2001. I can't believe 2001. Doon pinanganak yung pamangkin ko. Nakakalo. Para ilan taon na yung ako naisipin yun. I don't want to date myself. But anyway, The Princess Diaries tells the story of an American teenager who learns that she is the heir to the throne of the kingdom of Genovia. This, that's for the benefit of the Gen Z listening right now. It was such a hit. Hence, there is, uh, of course, an installment coming right up. And it had a sequel back in 2004. It leads the Oscar-winning actress, Anne Hathaway, and she has to, to deal the return, yet she will publicly support the third installment. We'll keep you posted on the developments of this story, who will star in it, what the story will go. All right, the Family Matters trailer breach 15 million views. Here's something trending we're going to talk about, but not in the Philippines. Have you also get the ch have you had the chance to see the trailer of Sinaco Productions and Metro Manila Film Festival's Family Matters? Guys, mapapanood to sa MMFF. It's starring Noel Trinidad, Noni Buencamino, Mylene Dizon, Agot Isidro, JC Santos, James Blanco, and Nikki Valdez. And it's a family-related hugot. And it's clocking in millions of views. And of course, it was uploaded just last Tuesday, November 15. But now it's really a hot topic if you haven't seen it yet. We're going to give you a glimpse here. And I just want to say that it's a refreshing thing that not, uh, you know, all the blockbuster A-listers are in it. Although, of course, they are really, really uh, prominent figures in the industry. It's just, you know what I mean, right? It's a breath of fresh air uh, that uh, the skills of the stars will be at the forefront of this. The time to love them is now. Abigat na ba tayo sa ating mga anak? Huwag mo nang isipin yun. Ang hirap mong tumatanda. Pero nandito naman tayong dalawa para lagaan ng isa't isa. Ilang linggo ka nang walang gana. Gusto mong magpa-check up? Kamusta po ang paghinga mo, Dad? Humihinga pa rin. <laughs> Paya ka na ba na magkaroon ng nurse? Ayo, para may magtingin sa inyo. I already said no. Hey, okay. Concerned lang ho si Kuya. He doesn't even listen when I talk. Dad never listens. You shut up, ha? Huh? Dad! Kuya, kuya, kulang. Kalma lang, walang ma-achieve ang yung init ng ulo mo. Don't tell me what to do, you loser. Hey! Walang masama sa sinabi ni Kuya Nelson. You were out of love. Huwag ka masisali sa usapan! Ano ka ba? Ayusin mo muna yung buhay mo! Ano, are you saying I'm a failure? Hindi ba? No! Ako ang failure because I raised all of you. From the director of 2019 MMFF's top-grossing film Miracle in Cell Number no. Seven, Noel Rizos Tumonava, and writer Mel Mendoza Del Rosario. I'm not ready to lose him. <laughs> Your phone will always be there, but I won't be. Paminsan-minsan, titignan mo ako para naman mamiss mo rin ako. Family Matters
Killing Me Softly singer Roberta Flack. Yes, of course. The award-winning singer behind the hit Killing Me Softly has been diagnosed with ALS. Her publicist announced in a report from the Los Angeles Times because of amyotrophic lateral scoliosis, it will be impossible for the singer to sing and not easy to speak. Let's pray for her. And according to the website of ALS Association, it is described as a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. It is also known as Lou Jerk's disease, and it doesn't have a cure yet. So Roberta won four Grammys and received 14 nominations during her career. All right, we're talking about the new talk show, TikToks, offering fresh insights on current issues and news. Well, it's going to be lighter, funnier, but of course, more relevant as five prominent figures in broadcasting, lifestyle, entertainment, society, comedy, who will share their expertise, varying sensibilities, and funny banter in today's latest issues. It is starring Corina Sanchez, G3 Santiago, Alex Calleja, Patti Daza, and Kakai. Uh, Premiere on December 3, it's airing Saturdays at 8 p.m. on 1PH with simulcast on TV5 and Radio Cinco, 92.3 News FM. It does have catch-up episodes every Sunday on One News here starting December 4. And, uh, well, we did uh, have a media con yesterday hosted by yours truly and we talked to the host of the show and it's gonna veer away from the traditional talk tuturuan niya yung mga Pilipino paano maging ano no tinanggalin ang pagiging balat sibuyas and sticking up to their guns especially to their opinions I love that about the show sa panahon ngayon talaga napakabilis ang pagbabago nagbabago lahat ng mga format nagbabago ang pananaw ng tao nagbago na ang landscape ng entertainment and information it's now a hybrid between mainstream and social media. At lahat ngayon may opinion. Lahat ngayon may opinion sa opinion mo. So, parang it's time for an opinion show na totoo. Alam mo yung opinionan, yung kwentuhan ng magkakaibigan kapag walang nanonood. Uh, Siyempre, careful pa rin because we're on free TV. But I promise you that Yes, it's important to push the envelope forward, to push uh, advocacies forward, not to be scared of your opinion, na lahat tayo dapat magrespetuhan ng pananaw, uh, tanggapin natin yan, and um, to have a show that showcases that. So, ito, kombinasyon to ng iba't ibang klasing tao, mula sa iba't ibang profesyon, iba't ibang mga background, Pero lahat kami naman, nagkakasunto. We agree to disagree. And we really hope that you enjoy the show the way we enjoy each other's company. Disney Plus is now in the Philippines! Awesome. Grabe, kagabi para may pa-special preview ata. This is the talk of the town. Everyone in their screenshots, in their stories or reels. Yes, they've been saying that Disney Plus, yes, is in their household. It has landed in mind to their desperate housewives. A lot of content right there, not just our favorite animations, but also Star Wars, yeah, right? Yes, and uh, uh, Lightyear and all that jazz. I'm so excited that D Disney Plus is here tonight. We're going to be celebrating with them so right now marvel and pixar national geographic and star are also at the app or inside the app right with disney plus consumers will be able to enjoy an ever-growing library of global regional and asian language content and as a matter of fact i've been talking to a lot of them already some k-drama stars yes and of course some of the other big titles of disney plus i'm so excited to meet them as well I'll keep you posted on that one. But for now, we are halfway on the show. We just want to say hi to the All Anatics. Awesome. And the OMJ supporters, thank you so much. Gucci, Gucci, Prada. Also, thank you guys for watching us for 4.45 p.m. on One News with Replace and 1PH and Radio Cinco 92.3 News FM. Halfway on the show. <laughs>
All right, Will Smith is back in the big screen after the infamous lapping incident earlier this year at the Academy Awards. Are you for it or against it? Well, there's no stopping him because the trailer of Emancipation, which is very timely, apt, is out. He is the lead of the slavery drama of Apple, and in the trailer released by Apple, Will plays Peter, who evades the loose Louisiana swamps to win his freedom and escape from being a slave. And of course, after escaping, he is joining the Union Army where he went into medical examination that shows his bare back full of a whip. OMG. So anyway, guys, you know the drill. This is the theme of it. The movie is set to be released in theaters and Apple TV+. Plus. <laughs> Well, there's an uh, an historically unprecedented demand for a Taylor Swift concert tour, but, well, who is not surprised? <laughs> Show Ticketmaster describe a million Swifties stirred up and disappointed over their periodic outages and long online waits as they book for tickets for Taylor Swift's first ever concert tour since 2018. Lahat ng fans talaga, init na init na makita yung mga idol nila, no? Buto na lang si Harry Styles nag-announce na magkaka-concert dito, di ba? But anyway, inaantay rin natin si Taylor Swift. It's not gonna be her first rodeo if in case she's coming in in the Philippines. But to, to her announced ticket dates, the ticket cost between $49 or around 2,800 pesos to $449 or 25,000 pesos. So Ticketmaster apologized and said they urgently are working to resolve the intermittent issues. Taylor's Eras Tour kicks off next year and we're going to keep, keep you updated if there's any change in note or date or whatever that is. But yeah, good luck sa mga Swifties na gusto magkaroon ng ano, no, tickets. <laughs> Oh, it's really seldom that we hear something personal from Tropang LOL host Mateo Goodicelli. But yes, he did air out something about Sara Jeronimo, and that is her going against all odds for him. Isn't that sweet? Mateo Goodicelli couldn't help but, well, feel sentimental as he talked about marriage in Tropang LOL's relationship segment. Oh. In the show's episode yesterday, Mateo shared his own experience with love by paying tribute to Sara for hurdling odds of their relationship. He said it was a really big deal when they remained a couple, but Mateo also reiterated that love should be a mutual decision and action. It can be remembered 2020 before the lockdowns. So there was this wedding controversy, right? After reports of the pop star's family attempted to stop the nuptials. Sara just said sorry to her parents via an open letter last month, but yes... Maybe the couple is really on to move on from, of course, their personal bouts inside the family. All right, this is a hot topic online. Well, it's a deleted video already, but we did see Alex Gonzaga and Doc Vicky Bella joke around saying, and it's not Doselani, heart evangelista. <laughs> in Milan because you all know all the Filipino celebrities are flocking to the fashion shows. It's their trend right now. It's their in thing. So this particular clip in the vlog of Doc Vicky was all over social media. It was reported earlier that Hart apparently snubbed Doc Alex, Alex Gonzaga and Doc Vicky in Milan. Alex and Doc Vicky said they were in the same fashion show in Milan, but Hart did not even say hi to them. <laughs> But the two clarified, however, they were just joking around. Honestly, it was a light segment, right? Alex released a statement via her Facebook page saying they haven't met hard in Milan, while Dr. Vicky posted it on her Instagram story. And watch this. It's not true that Hart snubbed Kathy, Alex, and me. How could she snub us when she didn't even know we were there? And we never, ever saw each other. Kasi naman, if you watch the Vicky Bello vlog, you will see that Alex and I are just kidding and joking around. And I was so thrilled because Alex mentioned Hart and me in one sentence. And we all know what a fashion powerhouse Hart is. Kaya naman, you should watch my vlog pala alam nyo ang truth. Pala talaga. Para! Alam nyo ang truth. Bye! All right! For number one, it's a hot topic for Joshua Garcia. Coming right up. Joshua Garcia clarifies his status single ako. Shit, what the fuck is doing, nakakaloka? 
Anyway, that's what Joshua Garcia reiterated when asked by OG Diaz. So, mm, mukhang Joshua made a Japan trip with his friends, including Ethel, rumored coupled Sanjo and Ria. But it seems like the fifth wheel in the trip was him. Because honestly, he was solo. Wala siyang tinagong adeto kung ano man. But the actor has been linked to two Bellas, Bella Porch and Bella Rosellas. But Joshua categorically, categorically said it came from him. He's simple. So, mga kapatid, may pila ulit. <laughs> All right, guys, mask if you must before we end. That's a reminder and stay safe from so COVID-19. Stay socially distant. Thank you for joining us. You can follow me on my socials, MJ Marfori, all across. I am so happy to be with you guys. We are Mondays to Fridays, 4.45 p.m. on One News with Replays and Radio Cinco, 92.3 News FM. And I'll see you guys. I love you. This is Celebrity Top 10. Ta-ta.